Hey guys, Jordy here for Premiere Basics, on which we share weekly Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. Now, unfortunately, Jill is still not back. He normally presents these tutorials. Now, he's suffering from a severe migraine, so I hope that he gets better very soon. Until then, you're stuck with me. Today, we're going to create a cinematic title reveal. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. The first step is, of course, creating our title. So go to the toolbar next to your timeline and choose the text tool. Now, click in your program monitor and type your title. We are going to type title basics as an example. Now your title will probably be 5 seconds long, but you can make it as long as you want. We are going to go for a 10 seconds long clip. Then before we start with the animation, let's stylize our title a little bit. And this we can do in the Essential Graphics panel. If you can't find it, you can go to the menu on top, select Window and choose Essential Graphics. From here, we have all the usual character and paragraph settings, which all Adobe apps have. And the first thing we are going to adjust is setting our title in all caps. I know you can of course also do this by typing in all caps, but you can also just press this button right here to change your text to all caps in the click of a button. Then adjust the scale to whatever you want. Change the text aligned from left to center, and you can also play around with the spacing between the letters. However, we don't want the last letter to get a spacing as that will give aligning problems later on. So select all your text but the last letter, and then change the spacing value. So next up is aligning your text to the center of the frame, which you can easily do with these two buttons right here. And you can keep on tweaking your text the way that you prefer, like making it cursive or bald, changing the color, maybe even change the font entirely, but that's up to you. We're going to keep it with this cool, minimalistic look. And now it's time for the animations, and if you're already enjoying this video, then you'll definitely enjoy our beginner's class to Adobe Premiere Pro. It's one of the highest rated classes on Skillshare because we have a unique teaching approach. Together, we'll start exploring Premiere Pro and learn all of the basic features without feeling overwhelmed. By the end of the class, you'll be able to edit an entire video, make use of video and audio effects, create graphics, and finally learn how to properly export your videos to share with the web your client or your friends. And since we're among the top teachers at Skillshare, we're able to give new students 14 days for free Skillshare Premium, which allows you to watch any class on the platform. We also have multiple classes, so definitely make sure to check out those as well. So go check it out, guys, by clicking the first link in the description down below, and hopefully I'll see you back in my class. All right, now let's continue with the cinematic title reveal. The first effect that we're going to add is the mirror effect. Drag this from your effects library to the text layer. Then let's go to the effects control panel and start changing some settings in here. First, you set the reflection angle to 90 degrees. Then move the reflection center up until your text is completely gone. You can now make a keyframe for that value by clicking on the stopwatch of that property. Then go to the end of your clip and move the reflection center down, revealing the mirrored clip and separating it from the original text. Of course, make your last keyframe smooth by right-clicking on it and choose Temporal Interpolation Ease In. And this will slowly stop the animation on the end. The first keyframe, however, doesn't need an ease because it starts at the beginning of the clip and we don't want our animation to start slow. Next up, we're going to create a mask on the text clip. Now, this mask will eventually remove the mirror text when it animates outside of the mask. So, let's open up the Opacity property and create a rectangle mask. Scale it bigger than your title and feather it a bunch. A whole bunch. When we now play our animation, you can see that at first we have nothing, then the text reveals itself, but mirrored, and eventually the mirrored text disappears beyond the mask. This is already looking great, but we are going to add some more details to it. And the first detail is blur on the mirrored text. Now to achieve this, we are going to create an adjustment layer. Right click in your project panel, choose new and pick adjustment layer. Then drag it on the top of your timeline and make sure that it has the same length as your title clip. Then in the effects library, we're going to search for the Gaussian blur effect and drag that to the adjustment layer. In the effects controls panel, you can then change the blurriness to around 200, but we are also going to change the blur dimensions to horizontal. Now this will only add a horizontal blurriness and will give you a very cool effect on the letters. Now again, from the opacity property, make a rectangle mask on the adjustment layer, then place that beneath the original text so it only covers the mirror text, and finally feather the mask a bunch. 
a whole bunch. Now things are looking great, let's just do a few more things to finish off the effect. Select both clips, right click and choose nest to group them together. Now with that nested sequence selected, head over to the motion properties and create a keyframe in the beginning for the scale. Then move to the end of the clip and set the value to 110. And this will add a slight zoom to the title, which makes it much more dynamic. And again, only give your last keyframe an ease in. And that's it. Now, of course, you can also add a background to it and some cool music like this and make it even more cinematic. And that, dear filmmakers, is how you can blow away your audience with a cinematic title reveal. Now don't forget to subscribe to see us every week with an exciting new tutorial. And if you want to have a head start, definitely join my Adobe Premiere Pro class by clicking that first link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.